Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. So today was going to be engine fitment day, but due to we losing the light, I'm gonna have to do something else. The, originally the plan was to make the brake pipes, but because the weather's been so good lately, I thought we'll get the engine in, get that done and dusted so we're not battling the elements if they come down. So we'll start off today by actually a thank you to everybody that watches the videos. I hope they help you out and I hope you enjoy them. Another big thank you goes to, you probably noticed the hat, Bear Marsh. Now, Bear Marsh only sell parts for Land Rovers and they've kindly sent me out a goodie bag, uh, including a woolly hat which was well needed in the cold weather. So, a goodie bag, calendar, and some stickers. Come on. There we go, look. And I was over the moon, actually, that somebody who deals with Land Rover parts, or Land Rovers in general, had actually seen the channel. Um, I didn't know what to say, really. Uh, but other than thank you so much for that, um, they have offered to help with any parts I require and hard to track down ones. So that is big thumbs up to Bear Marsh. As I said, I was over the moon. I really, really was. I never thought the channel would get to people like that. Uh, so, yeah. So, with that in mind, I've got some handbrake shoes, which I'm going to fit before putting the engine and box in. So, I'm going to get on with that now. Come here. Yeah, we're really good. Where So now I'm going to replace the handbrake shoes. Uh, oh. You got your ball, eh? You want me to throw it for you before I start? Okay. Is that, yeah, that means yeah. Come on then. Come on. So, you need to, if you're doing this in the Land Rover, you need to take the prop shaft off. Well, don't you just undo the four bolts and it will it will pull off and you can just put it to one side if you've got an impact gun with a screwdriver bit on the end well screwdriver socket on the end it's a lot easier because you don't need to try and hold the ratchet on it shouldn't be that tight so you should be able to do it with a screwdriver but nine times out of ten it's been over tightened so <laughs> come on See this. I can see him coming back. So let's get your gun on. See, it's a lot easier with these because you reduce the biscuit rounding the head off. These are the new shoes. They're Apex shoes. They're sixteen pounds. So you shouldn't need to adjust to the shoe to get the drum off. You should just grab it and pull it off. Now, I've never checked these before. And actually look at that one, they are due for replacing anyway. So your adjuster is behind the back plate, that's 17 mil. Let's have a go at that actually. I've not actually tried to adjust it so. Ah, oh, that's solid. So I need to free that off. Free that off, and yeah, they work like a normal braking system. Hello, Andy. So there's a bar on the back of the shoe that's attached to the cable. Come on, come on. And obviously, when you put your handbrake on, it pulls against the bar, which then pulls the shoes out. A pair of normal grips. Matter really because these are the old shoes. I've got some snipe on the ball grips, but they're at work. No, mate. Right. That's to clear this one block out. 
Then let's say you don't need to clamp them on, just so they're not going to slip off. Take the holes out. Same again, mole grips. Well, I'm using mole grips, you can use players. But I find it easier just to use these. Now, this is a pin, and you've got to push it in twist it so you've got to hold it with your finger at the back push it in it says and twist and that just comes out and the pin comes out the back same again this side don't lose the spring Take that off and then you should be able to take the shoes off. I need to free the adjuster off as well before refitting. So, I'm going to move the D on there. Just work it back and forth until it frees it. Well, oh, until it frees itself up. Clean that up. So, all you have to do is to give it a good pull, remove the spring, and you need a flat blade screwdriver just to release this horseshoe clip. So, a flat blade screwdriver, just twist it both sides. about to say because they ping off put it on there and then that arm should come out from the shoe I'll give that a clean up now I've got the new shoes now the pin just put standard well I'm saying standard high temperature grease on it because copper grease with it being a pivot copper grease isn't a lubricant it's an anti-seize compound so with this being pivot for the arm copper grease goes hard and sometimes can cause them to stick so if you think the handbrake once you pull the handbrake that comes out like that the shoes go on the drum and then if the copper grease goes dry it can cause them to stick so that won't go back fully so your shoes will be touching the drum slightly and it can cause you know heat <laughs> a lot of heat Oh, binding handbrake is a better way to say it. So what I've done, I just use a vice grips to clamp the arm to the shoe, and then using some little pliers, press the pliers against the shoe using the, another set of vice grips, and it pushes the spring washers down. That's a bit more. And what you can do then is push up the pin and push the horseshoe clip in. I probably need another set of pliers. So 
So that's started now. Should be able to release them just in case. Just stop that clip from going flying. There you go. And then just ease it the rest of the way out. And there we have it. There we go. So now, spring over the top. Clean everything up in the vise with a wire brush. So there. And that, apart from the bottom spring and the adjuster, which I'm going to clean up now, that is now ready to be fitted back on. So the adjuster is a triangle. And what and it works by so these little we call them brackets fit into the shoes like that. So because they're triangular, the more that the bolt, this is the back plate here, the bolt goes through and the more you tighten that it pushes down on the adjusters which then push them out and that's how it works so we'll give that a clean up and again just give it a lubricant in there only a tiny bit so that that will be something for copper grease actually because that's not actually a moving part that is just now and again as the shoes wear you push it in so that would have copper grease on it just to stop it from seizing up like it like it had done so just giving these a clean up with a wire brush and they're now ready to be refitted brush and brake cleaner just clean up the contact points of the shoes on the back plate so there there that's where the shoes are pressed on So on the contact points of the back plate, just put a dab of copper grease. It is only a dab, you don't need to go mad. Just on the contact points. That's all you need. So we'll start with the handbrake cable. And the spring, because it's spring loaded, that will hold it in. Stick that on there. Right, now that will hold 
the shoe was on. Now, the pins. That's it. Just fit the adjuster now. And now I'm going to put the adjuster back in. Some copper grease on the bolt, rip it into the threads. And as you put the bolt in, it'll work into the adjuster. Right. It will be slightly tight on the threads because the vibrations, you don't want it coming loose. Just leave. Same, just leave enough. <laughs> Plenty there. So these go in there, which I'll just put a little bit of copper slip on the inside of there and on the bit that actually adjusts. Put them back in. Same on this side. There. Right, now there's the spring to go on. If you pull the shoes forward, actually in front. It should be easier to get that spring on. He says, move this bit. Let me add it then. Get the vice grips out. go, that was easier. Same again, loosen the vice grips off, so they're not even close. You can use them as a clamp then to get the shoe over the adjuster. And there we go. So you can see now, as you pull the adjuster in, the shoes go outwards. And that's how that works. So I've got the slot there. Now it's just a case of cleaning the drum up. So same again. Brake cleaner. been stood a while so it's a bit of rust but I'll wear off. So let that dry now and then with some Henry cloth just gonna Rough the inside up, and the same with the shoes. 
So, a 150 grit abrasive cloth or Henry cloth. And just rough the inside up. This helps the bed with shoes back in. They're also well they're brand new. It provides just a little bit of grip. And same with the shoes just before fitting the drum back on. That's it, now you're ready to fit the drum. There you go. There's a tiny bit of copper slip on the grub screw. Of course this doesn't need to be really tight, it just needs to be nipped. There we go, that's tight enough. Now all you do, get your 17mm. Just rotate it till the shoes grab. It's just starting to grab now. Just ease it off till they're not binding, but they're just starting to catch. And, uh, they probably will be noisy to start with, but once they're bed in, they'll quieten down. Once everything's fitted back into the Land Rover, I'll adjust it as the shoe's wearing. It's not a difficult job to adjust it, it's just the 17mm bolt at the back of the drum. And that's it, that's how to fit some handbrake shoes. So the next job is getting everything back in the Land Rover and go from there.